Okay, the last thing is kind of a sad thing. Um, a North Korean mother faces jail time because she rescued her kids from a house fire while leaving Kim's portrait to burn. Wow. So this happened in December 30th. This has happened, you know, quite a while ago, but we're learning about it now. So um, the woman has been placed under investigation by the country's Minister of State Security after a fire broke out in a home shared by two families in Ansong County, North Hamyang Province, close to the Chinese border. Both sets of parents were out of the home at the time the fire started, but raced back to save their families after seeing the smoke. In the process, one set of the portraits were destroyed. North Korea demands that every home display paintings of its past leaders, Kim Il-sung, Kim Jong-il, and sends inspectors to ensure that they do such. If this mother is found guilty, she faces a lengthy prison sentence with hard labor. So just to add, not only do they demand that they have to display the portraits, they have to be hung prominently in a room. They have to be hung high up. Wow. So high up that no person can be standing higher than the portraits. Wow. And also, if there's a layer of dust, on the portraits, they're punishable by a fine, and the fine is determined by the thickness of the dust. Wow, insane! So, yep. so just, let's just make that clear. There was a fire, and the mom rushed into the house. And what the government expects you to do is go for the painting instead of your own child. Apparently, the family that also shares the residence with her, with this woman who's been um, incarcerated, that family, she saved her children, but was um, the portraits from her house were saved by a farm worker who was recently released from prison. From a vi he was in prison for a violent offense. He was recently released, and he was able to rush in and save the pictures from her house. And now he is being hailed as a hero. So oh. apparently, in North Korea, saving the pictures makes you a, a hero. hero, even if you die doing it, or even if you save the pictures over saving a family member. Then yes, then you become sort of a martyr, so to speak, and then they write songs about you or they'll talk about what a great hero right. you were. So here's the thing. I always don't like... I don't like it when atheists call some anything they don't like just, a, just another religion. But this one comes pretty close because a lot of things are dogmas but not religion, but atheists... Because of their a lot of atheists, because of their hate for religion, uh, they just call them religion. For example, communism, right? A lot of atheists hate communism, and they're like, communism is just another religion. I'm like, well, it's not. It's dogma, but it's not a religion. It doesn't have any supernatural beliefs. Or some people are like, oh, nationalism is just another religion. I'm like, well, no, it doesn't have any supernatural beliefs. You know, you call it dogmatic, you can call it a lot of things dogmatic, but not all dogs, all religions are dogma, but not all dogma are religion. But North Korean ideology, it gets, I think that's could legitimate, like it could be argued that this is getting to a religion because it's not just about the fact that it's dogmatic. Their beliefs ha is semi, I don't know, I think it's supernatural because they, like, I saw so many documentaries on North Korea, and they, they have this belief in the, you know, the spiritual presence of their dead leaders, right? Um, I saw, like, little girls, you know, singing and thanking their great leader for making the sun rise. I saw people every time that they, would before they eat, they, 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 they thank the great leader for making the food possible. So it seems like prayer before eating. Um... I mean, if you have supernatural elements in there and you're this dogmatic, what, you know, the, the, the two elements that I look for 
to make a dogma more than just a dogma, uh, uh, but also a religion, is supernatural elements and rituals. And they have it both, right? So not all supernatural belief is re re not all supernatural uh, belief is a religion. Um, it has to be dogmatic, and it has to have rituals as well. And they have it all. They're a dogma, they have supernatural beliefs, and they have rituals around their supernatural beliefs. Technically, that's a religion. I don't know if people agree with me on that or not, but what do you think? Well, these people that have died um, saving portraits of uh, Kim or Kim Jong-il, one of the Kims, are um, held up as martyrs, are venerated right. in a way that's similar to religion. Uh, for example, there's a story of this one um, woman, Han, Hyang Gong, she was 14. She drowned while trying to save her family's Kim portraits after a flood. What? And um, She drowned trying to yeah. save the portrait. Wow. Right. And so she was posthumously given the Youth Honor Award. They named a school in her memory. And they have, you know, uh, posters of her. Right. Also, um, there was... Another one where they talk about a house that was on fire and a child was found to have been burnt to death, you know, holding the portrait. Now, no, we don't know if that's actually happened or Probably whether not. that's sort of just like a story that yeah. they tell mm. as part of like the what you're saying, the dogma. And apparently this mother and you were the you know, the portraits being more important than the kids. I think you're going to see this and what I'm about to tell you is that because she's under investigation and because she's being held she can't tend to her children who are in hospital wow. and she can't for some reason she's not able to get the medicine they need I don't know why she would get it rather than the people in the hospital and uh, they also say that the neighbors want to help but they're afraid Yeah, because yeah, they're you, afraid if, that if, it will come back on them if she's charged with a political crime. So think about how how much uh, paranoia there is. So you could get in trouble not for helping the the lady that did not save the portrait, but you can't even help the children. Like the government might actually see you as a traitor because you helped the children of the woman that didn't run into a burned building to save the portrait of the great leader like the you know you know how in christianity when uh, the sins of the father is the sins of the you know son in north korea is like that to three generations right so if you betray if you're a tr considered a traitor they punish you th until to three generations because you have the bad seed or whatever right so if i if they catch me uh, saying something against the great leader or something I go to jail for forced labor for the rest of my life and so does my son even if he didn't say anything like that and also his children even if they're not yet born once they're born they should also go to jail for until they die because of their sins of their grandfather so they you get punished for three generations to 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 purify your bad seed that's how, that's how they punish. That's how crazy it is. And also, when they execute people, they bring the family to watch the execution and they watch them to make sure none of them is crying or showing any so, so, show of remorse. That's why they make sure the family is watching it. So the entire family, they bring him there to watch the execution and they, they, they're looking for any sign of remorse or any crying or any sign of sadness. And if any of them shows any sign of sadness, they become a traitor as well. This is like, you know, a lot of, a lot of, you have to be careful because a lot of atheists always think like Islamic countries are the worst hum violators of human rights. Um, like Saudi Arabia comes to mind as the worst. But it's not Saudi Arabia. The worst country when it comes to human rights violations is North Korea. Okay? So don't... I mean, I'm against Islam. And I think Islam is for a lot of... It is responsible for a lot of pain and misery all around the world. And Islam needs to die as the disease that it is. 
but don't let your anti-Islam bias deny the fact that North Korea is the worst violator of human rights anywhere in the world. Saudi Arabia is a second, but it's not even a close second. It's not even a close second. It's a distant second. For I know Saudi Arabia is, is, is hard for, for people to believe that, that it's a distant second because Saudi Arabia is so bad at human rights, but North Korea does it is so bad that it becomes a distant first, you know, that, like that's how bad North Korea is. That Saudi Arabia doesn't even get close to North Korea at how bad it is. But anyways, anyway, did you want to add? Oh, let me actually read the top comments. Top yeah, comments, what are the comments? The top comment, it says, I feel sorry for these people living in North Korea. I've seen some documentary about their country and saw how brainwashed is everyone and how much they worship their supreme leader like a god. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen a lot of those documentaries well, as well. Go that ahead. was the comment I was going to make oh. when you were saying about how bad it is in North Korea versus Saudi Arabia or some other countries where there's violations of human rights. I think that because it's so closed in North Korea and it's so inclusive of everything inside your home how much whether you dust the portrait or not whether you smile when you see the leader whether it's so ingrained in everything it's almost as if you don't even have freedom inside your brain right which where in a lot of muslim countries or other countries you at least have one space that's free inside your head right and it appears that north korea has figured out a way to take even that away from people Right. Because of the fear. Yeah, it's, it's horrible. JV is saying that hospitals in North Korea don't have medicine stocks, that people have to bring their own medic, uh, medicinal herbs from the okay, wild. So that's why. Wow, okay, that's insane. So the hospital. So that's why she. Hospitals don't have medicine. Is that. Okay, okay. That's why she had to bring her she own. She couldn't get them the medicine, yeah. All right. Uh, Tagia Watch is saying. Have you suffered consequences for burning the Quran? Any examples? Well, no, I burned the Quran when I was in Canada. So I lived in a free country when I did it. So nothing other than people being triggered online. That's the only consequences that I got. Anyway, so that was the last news that we covered. B just saying, uh, left, uh, uh, so Chrissy saying, I love you guys. B is here as well. Thank you, Chrissy and Beach for being mods in our live chat you guys are awesome by the way if bj and christy if you ever guys want to come and host an episode with us please let me know we would love to have you um thank you everybody in the live chat if you're going to correct us please do that in the comment section on anything that we got wrong please 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 share our content again the algorithm is against us we need the support of our community for this channel to grow so please share our content um and subscribe to our newsletter it's in the link is in the description um yeah love you guys thank you for being here and see you guys thank again thank you next week bye 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 atheists are under attack in many places if they were christians their voices would be heard if they were jews their voices would be heard if they were muslims their voices would be heard but they are atheists and not many seem to be listening let's make it difficult for them to ignore us we have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي podcast باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.